Chuck, I want to fill you in on a couple of things. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm always available to hear. Americans are famously non-metric, you know. Because, it, you know, we like attention. Do I need to remind you that U.S. currency is metric? Hold on. How is dollar? How does dollar mean metric? Because there's a hundred pennies in the dollar. Oh, well, okay, okay, you're right. That's that's it's base ten. Yeah, you're right. Yes, it is. It's base okay, 10. okay. Our, I, I, our currency, and it was metric even at a time where British currency wasn't. That's right. The pound. The pound, shillings, shillings pence, all pences, that, all that crap. A sixpence. I, I have no idea what any of that is. Okay. So we we were metric out of the gate. Okay. All right. All right. So let's just. Put it, putting it out there. All right, all right. Let me give a shout out to Jimmy Carter. From back when he was president, he tried to change all this, right? He tried to put us on the metric system with the rest of the world. Allocated money out of Congress, and it was generally considered a failure. And, you know, I hate to say it, but so many things were associated with him. <laughs> considered it a failure. It didn't work out. Okay. It didn't work out. And he's a great, great president. Oh. Total. total heart in the right place guy. Yes, he right. was. You know, just <laughs> just told America the truth, and that that did. You know, I'm I'm sorry, but I just think the real problem with America is that right now we have lost confidence. The threat is nearly invisible in ordinary ways. It is a crisis of confidence, and people were just like, "What?" <laughs> you this is america you don't tell people you lost confidence what is you you know and then all of a sudden you know reagan comes in like well there you go again and all of a sudden people are like yeah that guy that's the guy we want the guy it's morning in america <laughs> tear down that wall tear down that mr gorbachev <laughs> mr gorbachev tear down this wall they were like, that's the guy. We want that's confidence. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. All right. So back to the metric system. Do you know the original definition of a meter, where it came from? Do you know? No. I tell you. Okay. Okay. By the way, the French invented the metric system. Okay. And no thrust wonder, it upon the no, world after no the French No wonder Revolution. we hate it. No, no. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> and they, they foisted it upon the world after the French Revolution. That makes sense. You know what I mean? But the course, the way you measure is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why your French imitate? Why they always got to be smoking? <laughs> This is what we do. This is what we do. You know, we like to smoke the cigarette <laughs> while we measure the distances in a new system we call the metric system. Yeah, so they pioneered it. So the definition, the original definition of meter is one ten millionth the distance between the North Pole and the equator along a line through the Paris Observatory. Oh, wow. That is arrogant as hell. <laughs> My God, could you get any more arrogant than that? But, but of course, the line must run exactly through the center of the Paris uh, Observatory, uh, where we will observe our own Aragon. <laughs> you, know, you know what they also introduced, which didn't catch on? Decimal what? time. Okay, thank God for that, because decimal time sounds awful. Okay, so there would be, a second is still a second. Okay. But there would be 100 seconds in a minute. Yeah, see. And then 100 minutes in an hour, and then 10 hours in a day. There was some way they did this. They did it so, so that it worked out. It all kind of worked out, right? And there were some wristwatches that had it. And they're quite valuable just as a keepsake, but nobody... I wouldn't mind having one. That'd be cool as hell to have a... You wouldn't know what. You wouldn't be on time for a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing would change. <laughs> okay, there it is. All right, let's keep going. So we're talking, this is early 2020s, okay? Now, what else used to not be metric and is now metric? I'll tell you. Uh, our nutrition labels... 
Nutrition labels, how so? Our nutrition labels are all metric. They're in grams. As a person who lives off of Funyuns and potato chips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me just say that uh, I don't know this nutrition label you speak of. Take a look. It's how many grams of sugar, how many grams of oh, fat. That's true. Okay. A okay. gram is metric. That's okay. All right. So that's right. All right. Okay. All right. Nutrition labels, all completely metric. Okay? True. Let's keep going. Photography has basically always been metric. Now, this I know because I love taking pictures and I own many cameras and all lenses, all lenses are... You buy 35 millimeter film. That's right. You shoot with a 50 millimeter lens, That's 200 right. millimeter lens. That's right. There was a two and a quarter square format. Um, which and an eight by ten, you can buy large negatives for large cameras, but buy it, but basically all of photography was metric, as well as cinema. 70 Oops, millimeters. 70 millimeters, right? Okay. That's right. That's okay. Right. Okay. So that was that's always been metric, right? All right. Let's keep shall I keep going? Yes. Okay, let's go. You have never in your life purchased a quart of Pepsi. That's right. Okay. I've only ordered a liters. A One liter, liter, two liter, or two three, liter, or three liter, three liter bottles. Yeah. Well, I no, I'm not trying. And, to get and we are fluent I'm in that. To get diabetes here. I'm okay, not okay. A three liter bottle of Pepsi. You know? We we are fluent. You go to. I need two liters of Pepsi. You're not saying, oh, I use liters. I don't know what a liter is. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Wine is metric. This is true. 750 milliliter bottles. Yes, they are. I got, I got about eight empty ones <laughs> sitting right, right about eight feet from here. <laughs> it happens to be like 26 and a half ounces, but that's not how you get the bottle. It's 750 milliliters. We walk in there, buy it, and no one, no one is running for the hills. Yeah, well, it's because it's filled with delicious goodness. That's why. <laughs> okay. That's All right, I'll keep going. Go ahead. In my day... When I first learned how to drive, which was very late in my life, okay, I learned when I was 25. Wow. My first car- You really are a New York kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. My first car was a Mercury Montego. Ooh. Okay. Eight cylinder, all right? Ah. Last of the land yachts, right? Yeah, that's you come a up over, you, you come up over a hill, you know, you hope that nothing's walking in front of the car. Right, because you can't the, see over the front. You the can't over. see over the hood that's right. where something was crossing the street. Yeah. Front of the car comes over the hill at four o'clock. The back of the car comes over the hill at four fifteen. <laughs> four fifteen. <laughs> fifteen minutes later. <laughs> so, so you do this. Um, so that car, if you said, "Well, how how big is your engine?" Four hundred cubic inch. That's right. That's what it was. That was the that was the measure. And those, do you know what those cubic inches were measuring? No. Okay, it's not the size of the engine block. It's the volume. Oh occupied in the boreholes for the pistons. Piston, okay. Okay. So, so that's some measure of how much power the engine has. Four, no, it also matters how heavy the car is. 400 cubic inch, 350 cubic inch, okay? Or 450 cubic inch. These are how we measured engines through the 70s into the 80s. And then they slipped it in on you. This is a three liter engine. Yep. Two and a half liter engine. Two point five, yep. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Should I keep going? Please. Okay. Our entire electrical grid is metric. All right. I'm I'm familiar now. Watts. Oh. Is metric. That's right. Okay. Okay. If you don't want metric, you measure the lights in candle power. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> There is a ver there, there, there are counter there, there is there, there, yeah there's a there's a to, to a candle is a, a measure of luminosity right so, right yeah. okay right so so watts amps um, ohms the resistance in a resistor all of these units I did not know those were all metric all metric okay all of it okay uh, and w now I think they're measuring. The power of air conditioners in watts now, rather than what? All I know the difference would be calories. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, oh, yeah. Well, calories are nutritional, and those are metric. Right, okay, right, right. That would be up on your on your on your on your. And calories is energy, not power. So nowadays we talk about kilowatt hours. 
All right. Okay. That's right. That's okay. Right. Kilowatts, kilowatt hours, yeah. all of this is metric. So even lately, I've been seeing the power of air conditioners measured in watts. Yes. Okay? And that's not how they always used to be measured. Okay. You remember what the unit was? I do not. BTUs. BTUs. Yes. British thermal units. Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay. So I'm just saying we are inching towards the metric system. <laughs> Uh, I see what you did there. Uh, okay. We're inching to, so we still have, um, I don't think we're going to give up Fahrenheit. No. I'll tell you why, because the, we like our 10 degree increments in conversation. Yes. Oh, it's in the thirties outside, which in the fifties, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's in the nineties, you know, the there's nineties. Right, right. So that that has social value to retain those right. increments because it's more precise than using Celsius. So yes, and by the way, Celsius sucks. Let's just okay. be honest. It's, it's let's, spoken let's like a true honest. American. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's be free. First of all, you can't sing a song. You know, uh, uh, forty-seven degrees in the shade. That doesn't work. Okay, it's ninety-six <laughs> degrees in the shade, baby. You know, it does. It's yes. Yeah, no, we, there's things we wouldn't have to give up, like. It's a milestone in your life. No one's going to say a kilometer stone, okay? Right. Uh, and the inchworm, I think, is still is still. Yeah, that makes yeah. Well, when you see an inchworm, I mean, what would it be? The millimeter worms? No, no, no. You know, no. It's in fact, it's called the, the, the worms. The, the measuring worm. Stop it. Yes, I think that's what they call it in Europe. The measuring worm, which is cool, oh. which is good. They they knew not to call it a, a, a centimeter worm. They knew right. that. Okay. Yeah, okay. They should have. Yeah, they should have gone with inchworm. Okay. <laughs> so there are things we'll retain, I think. But I, given how much you have to adjust when you're visiting another culture, anyway. Right. You know, miles and and Fahrenheit is the least of your adjustments you have to make if you're visiting the United States. That's true. That's kind of how I look at. It. My thing is this: we should be on the metric system and. Because it really is just reference anyway. You don't. The only reason that we don't like the metric system is because we have to convert things to the metric system. So if everything were already metric, it's really just a uh, a, a reference. That's it's a, that's, it's that's a reference. philosophically deep. Yeah. The issue is converting, and if everything, if you don't have to convert anything, what difference does it make? So the you know, laggards here is the dairy industry. All right, they're not selling you liters of milk. No, they're all right? selling you quarts of milk. They're not selling you ten eggs and a gallon of milk and a dozen eggs. <laughs> <laughs> they got a dozen. They got pints, quarts, quarts. That's right. Cups, um, and our cooking. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Right, a cup, a, a cup, a, a teaspoon, a tablespoon, tablespoon, a tablespoon. Yeah, but all of that means nothing once it's all converted because they're just references. It doesn't make a difference if you know. Right, but so the real issue is if you have to have a bake off, an international bake off, and the ingredients who they just give measurements and you don't know what units they're in. If you just if you just grandma cooking an old family recipe at home. Well, yeah, use a pinch of this and a cup a of that. Spoon, right, and you know, a sprinkle of this, sprinkle a dash, a dash of this. <laughs> so nobody's going to complain about that. But there was a Mars uh, spacecraft launched by NASA mm -hmm. where the scientists established how much fuel it should have for the final burn to put it into orbit. And the engineers who were still using the Imperial system thought – the amount of fuel was in pounds instead of newtons. Newtons is a metric measure of force, named after my boy, Isaac. And because those are not the same quantities, if you think it's the same quantity, and then you build a spacecraft, then you will not have the amount of fuel that you need. And in fact, the damn spacecraft missed Mars. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was that's a very, it was egg on NASA's face. That is so much egg. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a big ass that's egg. A, that's an omelet, man. That's an <laughs> omelet. That's crazy. <laughs> that is, that is straight up crazy. So that was embarrassing. And so, so scientists have been metric, you know, for most of the 20th century through today, of course. 
and the engineers were a little slow. Uh, architects might still be a little time there, I think. Uh, but tool kits, you can buy metric tool kits right on the same shelf. Oh, and listen, they now if you're trying to fix something around the house, the rulers they have on one side, you know, the English units, and on the other side, they got the metric. Right, and so that so that's why I, we're not as bad as I think we think we are, for all the reasons I just stated. Yes, you know. So what we should do is just go ahead and make the switch. Just go ahead and join the rest of the world, you know, um, and uh, just call it Mer Merca metric. Mer go to Merca your metric. GPS and have your GPS voice only tell you things in metric. Try that. That'd be kind of fun. Get you used to that. Uh, yeah, we'll get you. Yeah. In 300 meters, turn right. And, and then I'd be like this. Not nope, going back to the uh, regular units. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> then they got to have GPS with attitude. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your turn. Back the hell up. <laughs> all right, Chuck. That's all I got for you. Oh, that was fun. America inching towards a metric system, and I'm I'm proud of us. I I didn't think we'd get this far, but we. Oh have. man, you you got a low bar. <laughs> you got. <laughs> <a low> bar. <laughs> this has been another Star Talk Explainer. As always, keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs>